Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Journey's End item showcase. Today we're going to be looking at a whole bunch of items because we're going to be looking at all of the new minecarts and comparing them to the two existing minecarts in the game. Let's jump right over to some minecart tracks and start taking a look at these new awesome items. If you don't have a minecart equipped, you will use this minecart that just automatically spawns and it's the slowest one in the game. Let's take a look at the two original minecarts. We have the first, which is just a combination of iron and wood. And so let's go ahead and equip this. And this has been in the game for a while. The next one is the mechanical cart. This one's also been in the game for a long time. So we'll get off that. And now let's take a look at all of the new minecarts that we've got in the game. The reason I have all of these large gemstones in my inventory is because these are all part of the recipe for each one of the respective gemstone related minecarts. So for example, the large diamond plus a minecart can craft a diamond minecart and the large amethyst can craft the amethyst minecart and so on. So we have one minecart for each gem, including the amber gem. These large gems just require a bunch of the small normal gems to craft and then you can craft each of these minecarts. So let's take a look at one of these gem minecarts. So here's the ruby one, and you can see it looks pretty sweet. It's a nice different aesthetic, but it does go the same speed as the original minecart, so you're not actually gonna get an upgrade from any of these. But it is nice that there is that variety, and it's always nice to have another use for the large gems that you can craft in Terraria. So now let's look at all of the different unique ones that you can find throughout the game in 1.4 Journey's End. The Desert Minecart is one that can be obtained from sandstone chests. And you'll kind of notice throughout as we go through these, a lot of these are found in specific biome chests throughout the world. So let's put on the minecart for the desert and see what it looks like. Oh, that looks pretty sweet. It's very like Egyptian. A lot of these are going to be the same speed as the original minecart, and that's the case for the desert minecart. Really the only ones that are gonna be different in speed is the mechanical cart and the digger cart. Those, the digger cart is slower than the original minecart and the mechanical cart is much faster. All the other ones are pretty much the same speed. Some have a couple different features added to them, but for the most part, their speeds are all the same. Next, let's check out the minecart. It allows for quick travel in the water and it says deal with it. So the mine carp looks really awesome. And like I said, this can go the same top speed when it's underwater as when it's above water. So this is actually a nice upgrade. So if you can do some angler quests early in the game, this will actually help when you're exploring because oftentimes mine carts underground go through water pools. So this is a good one to have. Next, let's look at the bee minecart. This can be obtained from the queen bee or dropped from jungle treasure chests. So let's see what this looks like. I actually like this one a lot. It's pretty sweet to ride a little bee as a minecart. The next one I want to look at is the ladybug minecart, which can be found in the large trees that spawn across the world. It is in the living wood chests. And let's see what it looks like. Looks pretty sweet. And then we have the sunflower minecart, which can be found in surface chests. And those are just the normal wooden chests you find at the surface. This is definitely really crazy because for having only two minecarts for so long, it's so weird that they've added so many all at once, but it's quite cool. The next one I want to look at is the demonic hell cart, which is pretty cool because it provides seven seconds of immunity to lava. I think we've all been there where you're riding a minecart on one of those mine shafts that you find deep underground, and you run right into a pool of lava and die. Well, this one isn't going to make that happen anymore because you're going to get lava immunity when you're riding on this cart. And it's got like a glowing eye, which is pretty sweet. So this is actually kind of one of my favorites. And this can be found from the shadow chests once when you have access to them with a shadow key. Then we have the shroom mine cart. This one can be found in the mushroom biome, and it's just in those mushroom chests. So we have the party wagon, and this one is one that can be purchased from the party girl NPC. So this is cool. It gives little balloons that go behind it. This steampunk minecart can be purchased from the steampunk NPC, and I really like the effects where it has smoke. It's like a train. Very cool. And then we have the beetle minecart, which can be crafted from beetle husks and the minecart and the beetle husks you get from the golem. So let's put that on. 
and I don't think this one has any special effect, but it does have a cool look to it. Riding a beetle and it's got some exhaust coming out. Pretty nice. Then we have the Pigron minecart, which I believe you can get from the Pigron enemies. And this one's got an angry pink pig, just like you see when you fight the Pigrons. Oh cool, the background just changed to kind of a special lit up background that it does sometimes at night. I like that they have so many new backgrounds in 1.4. Then we have a really cool one called the Dutchman. This one's got a boat appearance with a flag behind it. I really like this one. It's got the little cannons on the side with the skull and crossbones. So you can have a pirate ship minecart. The next one we've got is the Meow Mirror minecart, which can be obtained from the Moon Lord. And it's got a rainbow trail behind it. I really wish they would have made this as fast as the mechanical minecart or even faster because it looks so cool with the rainbow and everything. And it is from the Moon Lord, so it's kind of odd that this is the same speed as normal minecarts. So the last minecart I haven't actually crafted yet, but what we need to do is create a graveyard biome, which you can do by putting down a ton of gravestones. And now we've got a graveyard biome and got enemies coming in to attack. Now we need to put down an anvil and I think we should be able to craft it. There we go, the coffin minecart. All you need to do to craft a coffin minecart is have five iron, 10 wood, 10 rotten chunks, and be in a graveyard biome. So there we go, the coffin minecart. And I believe that is the last minecart in the game. So let's go ahead and break this graveyard biome. It looks very similar to a normal minecart, but it is kind of unique in that it's a coffin. The last minecart I want to show is the digging mole cart, which can be obtained from the zoologist NPC after 60% of the bestiary has been completed. It does move really slow, and you can see it's got like little arms. And the cool thing about this is it can dig and lay minecart tracks. We've got some minecart tracks in our inventory, so let's head underground and see how this works. Okay, so we've reached the end of this minecart track, and look, the mole cart digs. It digs actually really well, but it doesn't dig through sand, I think. There's certain things it won't dig through but it will dig and lay down minecart tracks at the same time, which is so cool. So let's see if, if we break some of these. I'm sure we could get it to start digging straight forward. Yeah, this is awesome. We've got our digging minecart mole rat. So this is one of the easiest ways to build an underground minecart track. So I definitely highly recommend getting this. Like I said, all you need is 60% of your bestiary completed, and then you just need to talk to the zoologist and buy this from her. And yeah, it's very useful. It can go right through Desert Fossil. So this thing's got some mining power. Pretty impressive. And that concludes our showcase of all of the awesome minecarts in Terraria 1.4 Journey's End. There's lots of amazing vanity options now with minecarts, and there's even some cool utility ones like the minecart that can travel quickly through water, the demonic hell cart that can give immunity to lava, and the amazing digging mole cart that will place minecart tracks and dig a really big tunnel for you. So that's a lot of cool stuff added right there. I hope you all have found this video enjoyable and helpful. If you have, be sure to like and subscribe. I also do other Terraria 1.4 content and Let's Plays on this channel, so be sure to check out some of that as well if you're interested. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.